take a good look. Because when we get done, it ain't going to look anything like this. Now I made this one. It's just easier to look at before we get going. You know exactly what we're doing here. For this one, it's pretty basic. Just the light cover, pulley, electrical cord, some uh, doweling, big chunk, just to go in the back. And these two, like I was saying before, we want to save these edges for the outside so it looks a lot better and showing the cuts in the end. And this is the board I want to stick in the center. It's going to be a little bit smaller than the other one. Something a little bit different. But I got to put this to the skill saw and cut the edges just to we start trimming up the edges like this. So I'll straighten this out first and go from there. So all I'm doing is just setting the, the guard just a little bit skinnier than the width, just to get the edges straight. That's the whole idea here. Save as much board as we can. Now I'm just going to center it with the board. Now for this part, to hold the pulley out, I just grabbed a chunk. And it's nice because the ends are still original, I haven't cut them or anything. I'm just going to cut it in half and then it should be about 6 inches high and I'll probably hold it out about there. So let's cut this in half now. Now I'm going to cut the holes or drill the holes in for the doweling. 3 quarter inch doweling, 3 quarter inch bit, and yes. Now, since this is an uneven top on each side, you gotta make sure you get it level, right? So just put the flat surfaces against the table. Make sure it's there plumb. And pick your spot and drill through both. Pick your height, how far roughly, or which way you want them to go. Something like that. It doesn't really have to have a certain point. Mark it. Just gonna put one nail in for now just in case we got to move it. And I want to make sure this is going to be in the right spot too, so. Uh, I need a straight edge. Well, pretty good ballpark, I guess. Might actually be better for doweling through. Let's do that. Mark roughly how hot, long we want it. Just going to overhang it a little bit, make it look a little better. Now I'm going to stain this, but I'll do it near the end to make sure we get it lined up here. Now we're going to start using the facing that we saved because we want to save the original edges. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just cut your 45 to start with, and then you can cut the, a little bit longer than what it is, and then just keep cutting straight cuts to make it easier to line up other than having to do 45 each cut. It's a lot easier. So what I went back and did, I changed my mind. I went and ripped these just to make them a little skinnier. Ringer. Okay, we're back here. Ah, uh, I don't remember what I said last. <laughs> Anyways. Just cut it a little bit longer here, and then it's easier to cut a straight cut to line it up, opposed to cutting 45, because it doesn't take much until you're too short. And then just 
continue it all the way around. Staining gets real tough now. It's a very complicated process, isn't it? A very close attention. Dip. Point. Repeat. If you forgot these steps, rewind 20 seconds. You will figure it out. This is supposed to be the barnwood look too, the stain. It's like a dark, light gray. Dark light gray. Still let's see, baby. So for this part, when it sticks out a little bit on each side, I just got some dowlings. I'm just gonna stab them through the end, kind of make it look more unique, I guess, rather than having a big old screw through there. You might appreciate that a little more. Something like that, I think. Pre-drill your holes big enough. Take two. I got a bigger bit this time. It should be good. Still seems tight. Alright, you put one more in this set screw where it would actually go, and it'll stop that from kind of spinning and moving all over. Okay, so now we just gotta string this on. Kind of set it close up to where you want it's the idea. And what I use to hold the wires down looks pretty good. Just some staples.
that staple that my life depends on right now. It's hard wood. It's just crap in my stop. Okay, I said before you have to pre-drill little holes for these. I think I have to, or I'm gonna hit the wire. And these just tighten with two screws on each side so they can go on anything. There she is. Well, there it is. It's easy to do. I mean, all you really need is a miter saw. Be careful on your cut. I mean, it's not hard. I mean, most important part to being out, being able to do this is one thing, and everybody has it. That's it. Easy. See you next time.